Enemy UAV online. Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger and welcome back to Jet Ramming Field 4 where every vehicle seems to be a 40 million dollar taxi for some odd reason. Now before I get anything else, I like to start off by saying that tonight over on Twitch as in December 15th, 2014 at 10 p.m. Eastern Time which is 9 p.m. Central Time which is 8 p.m. Mountain Time which is 7 p.m. Pacific Time mm, mine like a steel trap. I can't call my friend but because he'd probably say, I'm not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, chief. I'm not your chief, friendo. But whatever he is, Edgar's going to be giving away a GTX 970, Xbox One, or PS4, depending on what the winner selects. And the reason that he gave you three selections here is that it wouldn't really make any sense if you won the GTX 970 and you didn't have a computer or you didn't have a PC. I mean, you can't just sit there and just play on a single graphics card that doesn't make up an entire PC. So that's the reason that it gave you the, the alternatives of a PS4 and Xbox One. But in order to qualify, you only need to follow five people that I'll leave down in the description, which includes Kia Ravik Music, Edgar, myself, and just be over there at 10 p.m. Eastern Time this evening and everything else will fall into place. But beyond that, I have to say... I don't really know what has happened to Battlefield lately, and I'll start off by saying, wait for it, wait for it, wait for, oh man, the tractor beam, I must go, my people need me, I don't, uh, beats me, I don't know how that still happens, but I'm glad that it's still in the game. It's like, I, I don't get how you work for Ospite Engine, but whatever you're doing, please keep doing it because I find it hilarious. Now, one thing that did change in a recent patch was road killing. So, obviously, road kills like this have been around since the beginning of the game, but now, obviously, if you ghost ride your whip or you jump out of your vehicle and you still hit somebody, you now get credit. A monster jam by Blake Griffin! Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. You can now crush people. So, see, ghost ride the whip, you still get credit. Now, there has been one unintended consequence, of course, which is MRAPs are trying to do things that they shouldn't... Come on, NRAP, please. MRAP, please stop whatever... Why? You can't roadkill anybody. Stop trying to fly. You have no torque and no horsepower. Just stop. Now, obviously, the unintended consequence of that, which is kind of annoying, is jet ramming. Now, as you can see, you actually get a roadkill, technically, with jet rams now. Uh, that's been this way for like a, like a couple weeks or something. I haven't really noticed it until now. But for every one of those that I row kill somebody with, there's like a hundred of you that just absolutely... Come on, man. Like you need to toss my body halfway across the map. Doesn't matter if it's Hangar 21 or Giants of Karelia. Either way, yeah, thanks. You found me. You found me. Hide and seek is over. Thanks. But beyond that, still related to jets, can we please stop trying to be stun gravy? Like, I just feel like looking every single person who has a YouTube channel directly in the eyes and saying to them, You ain't gravy, baby. Like, look at this guy. Okay, prime example. He thinks he's so cool. He's in his flight suit. He's got that visor on, the super cool helmet. He whipped out his small. And he's obviously just going to take out my jet, right? Just so he can put, put that on YouTube, get like 3 million views. And then, uh, I think not. Yeah, you see what happens? You see what happens when you're not stun grave, you're a pony lion and you try that out? Just please, please, you ain't grave it, baby. You ain't grave it. Now, one other small recommendation that I would like to make is that most of you don't really know how to use the Beyblade correctly, also known as the hover tank, but nobody really calls it that. You have to call it the Beyblade. A lot of you don't really understand exactly how it works or the best way to utilize it. And just for the sake of the entire battlefield, quote unquote, population, I'll show you exactly in the next 30 or so seconds exactly how to use it correctly. Just pay close attention. Me. 
there you go. I hope you learned something very valuable about the Beyblade. And on an unrelated note, I would like to say that the hacking at this point is just so laughable. Like, it's not an aim bot, it's not a damage mod, it's not a spectator glitch anymore. This dude is literally an M40A5. I'm not exaggerating, this isn't hyperbole. Look at that, he's literally an M40A5. What? They told me I could be anything, so I became a sniper rifle. And one final thing that I would just like to say is I don't get assault players in Conquest. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, Exhibit A right here. Look at this guy doing a, a worm wiggle snake struggle on the back of my tank, on the back of my lav here. It's just, it's so laughable. And just to highlight their, like, lack of utility, oftentimes I will not even kill them. I'll just let them lie there and struggle and wiggle around on the ground all prone just so I can highlight how useless they are. Just look at him. I am so tactical right now. Like, l look at all this damage I'm doing to this tank. I missed a revive from two feet away. Look at him. I just don't get it, man. Especially on a map that's as big as Operation Whiteout. Why? I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Just stick a fork in me. I'm so done, Assault Players. I am so done.